Source integration is taking all of the ideas and facts and information that you found in your research and putting it smoothly and effectively into your essay. The most important thing to keep in mind about integrating sources is that you have to clearly distinguish for your reader, readers where you stop and where outside sources begin. Likewise, where those outside sources stop and you begin. We do this by what we call signaling in. And you want to like establish the credibility information as well as tell where it comes from. When we signal out, we generally do so with a parenthetical citation. In lacking a parenthetical citation, we use some kind of transition word in the following sentence. One of the most important things is to keep your signal phrases in, to as few words as possible and make sure that you provide that argument based on character to that source. In other words, tell us where it came from, why we should believe it, and do so as succinctly as possible. Along those lines, one of the biggest hints I can give you is don't include the article title in your signal phrase. It's generally just a long bunch of words that doesn't add anything to the credibility of the source, so just keep it out. There are three general methods for integrating source material into your essays. The first is paraphrase, then we have summary, and finally quote. A paraphrase is taking the information that you find in the original, recasting it in your own words, in the, more or less the same amount of space as the original. Remember that you still have to signal in and signal out. Notice that this student told where it came from and provided some sort of um, parenthetical citation. The student's not perfect, but he does the job that will get him to pass. In summary, we're taking a large amount of information and boiling it down to a smaller bit of information. Think of it this way. Your thesis statement is the best one sentence summary of your entire essay. And the best part, the coolest part about um, summary is that you can include the details and the information and make some choices about what will most effectively get your point across in the essay. Again, as always, make sure that we can, readers can tell where you end and begin. Finally, we have quote, using someone's exact words in your essay set off by quotation marks. It's very, very important to single in the quotation marks because we don't, what's called, don't want what's called dropped quotes in your essay. In other words, just quotes that have no context added to them. Notice how this, this student says exactly who's speaking, what makes him an expert, and provides some sort of documentation. Again, the student's not exactly perfect, but he does the job that he needs to pass. When it comes to quotes, you can generally have two kinds of quotes. One is a quote direct from the author. And when, note the documentation when we do this. When we use the author in the signal phrase, all we need is that page number in the parenthetical citation. We can also quote someone that the author quotes. And note the documentation here. It uses this little shorthand, QTDN, and that's MLA shorthand for, I found this quote in this source. And what it allows us to do is be succinct and clear in our signal phrase so that we don't have to talk about where we found it in the signal phrase. The documentation does that for us. And there are three ways to signal into a quote. The first is the most common, and that's the comma. Notice how the comma follows the word um, that sets up the quote, and it comes before the quotation mark. Also note, that the period does not go in the quotation marks, it comes after the documentation. Similarly, the quotation mark itself comes before the parenthetical citation. You can also signal in with a colon, that double dot. The big rule about a colon is that what precedes the colon has to be a complete sentence. Note again that the quotation begins after the colon, 
ends before the parenthetical citation, and the period comes after that documentation. The final way in, is basically using a whole sentence to establish the speaker's credibility before you give their quote. So you end the sentence, begin your quote. It's generally best at the end or in the middle to note that you're trying to provide some sort of reference back to the speaker. Finally, again, I'm going to emphasize, the quote comes before the citation, period comes after the documentation. Finally, start using quotes with caution. Don't overuse them. These quotes, the minute you put something into quotation marks, they have a lot of impact and power in your essay. Reserve them for something that you can't say better yourself. And that means facts and statistics don't go in quotes. You can say those things as well as the original person did by paraphrasing them. One last thing, the 25% rule. Don't make your essay more than 25% borrowed information. Remember, we want to see that you have read stuff and it has informed what you've written, but mostly we want to see your ideas. So the rule of thumb is generally 20 to 25% of your essay should be borrowed information. Now go out there and do good work.